Do you think that Peter McKinnon's, um, Matty Hapwire, and all these great YouTubers, do you think they will use Panasonics? For God's sake, of course not, because they will spend half of their time setting up the camera and finding autofocus. Autofocus for a camera? That's rubbish. Who cares about autofocus? Hello friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you the most important lesson I've learned during my career of being a photographer and a filmmaker. So let's get straight into it. I've been doing photography for the last 10 years, 12, 20 years, filmmaking. I started as an actor, but then I realized that, you know, this is my passion. I want to do acting on the side. I love films. I love acting in them, but let me just do production as well. The most important lesson I've learned as a photographer, as a filmmaker, uh, is uh, this is a dream. This is a dream uh, come true for me. And a lot of people are complaining about this camera. A lot of people are talking, um, uh, maybe not rubbish, but they, 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 have, they have good points. But they're talking about the battery doesn't last much. They're talking about um, the HDMI. Uh, I don't care about this thing. This camera is absolutely a beast um, and for one reason uh, for many reasons but the most important reason is the software is the is the autofocus is the 8k sensor and um, a lot of things that are actually that are on the website you know the specification of the the Canon R5C you can find them on on the on the website you know 8k full frame and 45 megapixel and dual pixel CMOS autofocus uh, it's probably the most reliable autofocus in the industry of course you've got the the sony's and the the nikon's uh, but um uh getting back to our conversation why why i switched to canon from panasonic is simple the the uh, the the autofocus and i took amazing pictures before and i used to um, get paid of it and i'm still getting paid of using my S5. It has a great quality uh, sensor. There's no doubt about that. And actually in general, the, the sensors nowadays, there's no much different between sensors. If you make two pictures with two cameras, let's say an S5 that costs only $1,500 and then a Canon that costs probably seven or six grand or whatever, you won't see the difference. You know. Using the S5 and the Panasonic and the, the GH5, you know, it's a great camera. But when you start shooting, you realize that, oh my God, look at this picture. I lost autofocus here. Uh, uh, I didn't put some settings there. And But to be honest with you, the, the most, the biggest problem with, with the Panasonics uh, is the autofocus. You know how many times I lost focus? It's incredible and it's, it's a great shot. And imagine you're going to a wedding and you capture a fantastic picture. It's probably, you know, the sunset is incredibly beautiful, that golden hour that glows everything and you've got this bride coming in or I don't know, you're photographing your son or your daughter or your wife or your parents. And this is amazing. Look at this sunset and you're just taking pictures. They're probably moving, you know, and you're taking pictures with these cameras that are autofocus are horrible. And then you're just missing an absolutely worldy because the camera can't do a proper autofocus. And I didn't really care much uh, at the beginning of the autofocus when I started my career as a, as a filmmaker, because you know, because you know, you do the you, you pull the focus manually anyway. And I thought autofocus for a camera that's rubbish. Who cares about autofocus? You know, like five, six, seven years ago, the autofocus wasn't great in cameras, and uh, we as filmmakers, especially filmmakers, we didn't care about much autofocus. But now, starting to make money with photography you actually realize that you need a very reliable autofocus and actually this is how i believe that a lot of uh, youtubers here on youtube this is how they made their careers they just they didn't know much about um 
uh, you know, uh, gear and stuff. And they bought Sony's A7Ths and they just put them on, put all the focus and then do crazy things and just create things. And it was easy. Uh, but I realized, I think I've struggled a little bit with the perception that, you know, we filmmakers, we don't care about autofocus. And this is how I struggle because um, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll buy a, a cheap camera like a Panasonic GH5 and start shooting. And then I realized how much time and effort I put into photographing and filming and then realizing like 20% or 30% of the shots, I had to put them in the bin because because I missed the, the the focus or maybe the autofocus was so rubbish I forgot to put it on and then it did its own things and it didn't focus properly and uh, from this point of view I, I think that investing in reliable gear as you go from a an amateur to a semi-pro or from a semi-pro to a professional is very important to have good gear. What I'm trying to say here basically is that I want to have a camera that I can take in my hand, put a professional lens on and forget about issues, forget about not getting the autofocus or forgetting about having some chromatic aberration, which, you know, in all fairness, all uh, probably all lenses have, but a good quality lens, a professional lens or a professional camera with will uh, with uh, good autofocus, it saves you a ton of time and embarrassment when um, doing uh, professional work. This is just a picture that that I took uh, uh, recently, and look at the quality. Look at the quality of this, of this picture. This is taken with um, with a 70 to 200 uh, RF lens, and. Um, one important thing to to talk about the RF lenses uh, is that is the uh, ultra um, ultrasonic uh, autofocus or focus um, is that it's so quiet and in video mode actually if you're a videographer you will love the RF lenses because uh, the focus when you start focusing on something it, the focus goes very very smoothly and it feels like someone is doing the focus for you this is i mean only this thing makes this camera and this lenses an amazing uh, combination i know this is not a in-depth review or specification of the camera because I don't really care. You can have a look yourself on the website and 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 try to to see the specification. But I wanted to let you know that why investing and I'm telling here investing in good gear is going to save you time and nerves. This camera and this lens is here cost a lot of a lot of money and some of them I bought with my own money some I had to um, pay in installments and some get a credit for them uh, uh, but uh, when you start getting money from people when you start shooting having clients you need to make sure that the reputation is very important you need to make sure that your clients are impressed and you as a filmmaker, as a photographer, as a professional, you still have a lot of work to do. Let the camera do the work for you. Don't worry about that autofocus. I, I, I was so stressed with this Panasonics uh, because I was always missing a lot of shots. Again, I was so, so annoyed. And for me, having the reliability that, you know, I put the camera on, I press the button and I'm sure that oh, that focus is there. You know, obviously, sometimes gonna miss. It's it's not 100%, but it's fine. And you know, it's it's, but it's not gonna be like 30% of all your shots are out of focus, which is which is which is incredible. Who is this camera for? It's obviously for semi-professional or professionals, or for a lot of people who want to have the the peace of mind and have a lot of money. You know, buy this, put it on uh, YouTubers. You know, just auto focus, easy, fast. Um, incredible and uh, um, you know as I said uh, before you know it's it's the friction uh, when doing something that you know that you know 
I'm using a, a I used to use uh, the, the the GH5 with my um, EF lens uh, Canon 1.2 which is a fantastic lens it's just incredible and actually using this lens over here this is the Canon um, EF uh, 1.2 and actually I can show it to you over here on this camera just there uh, so you see uh, for for this sort of videos um, this is incredible. The, the, the cameras that I have are, are absolutely amazing. So that one is, uh, that camera over there, that's the GH5 uh, uh, with my 1.2 uh, lens. And this is my Canon um, D Mark III. Um, but what I'm trying to say here, like, I'll, I'll be very quick, is that the friction that I'm, that I'm saying here is that I used to have days when I used to take this S5 or my GH5 and go on a shoot. I'm like, is that focus there? Am I sure it's there? And and those quite stressful for me because I was missing a lot of very nice, beautiful shots. And I'm talking about photos, but I'm talking about videos as uh, as well. Let me actually show you another. Um, uh, photo shoot that I did with my son over here. So th this is taken with a 70 to 200 millimeters RF lens with my Canon uh, R5. And uh, and my son here is on the swing uh, and he's going pretty fast on the swing. And I was taking a lot of pictures and I don't know, from, from 20 pictures, they're all probably two or three weren't out of focus, but you know, the swing swings quite fast as well. So as you can see here, and, and I was, I was getting all this autofocus and imagine, um, imagine a lot of people, um, will pay you a lot of money. And let's say you have two photo shoots per week, or I don't know, like three, four, five, and then you have to go and edit all these pictures. Um, but like going through beautiful pictures that you've taken and the focus is missing, it's so, so annoying. And this sort of like puts you off. And, you know, you want to have a camera, especially as a professional, like you took the camera in your hands, you put a professional, reliable lens and a professional, reliable body, and you go and you make money. You create art and you make people happy with your product. So this is the reason why I invested a lot of money in this particular camera in Canon. I used to have a Canon EF 1.2 that was my first lens and I paid a lot of money and this is my, my go-to lenses for uh, portrait photography and headshots. But I wanted to go even further and start working more and charging clients more with my photography. But for this, I had to invest in this RF lenses, which are super fast. The glass is absolutely amazing. And some will say that this is actually a little bit like plasticky, uh, but I don't know. Uh, maybe there is a reason for them to Canon to make them like this because they're so so heavy. Um, but going back to lenses and gear, uh, please understand. Sure, lenses and gear are not the most important thing, but you will go through different periods because at the beginning you will start learning photography, and obviously the gear won't matter. You'll have to learn and improve and start and i'm sure that a lot of photographers with less expensive gear will make much better and more beautiful pictures than someone that has a i don't know canon r5 or r6 or r3 i don't know it's true but when you want to be consistent and you want to charge your clients a lot of money you need to have good gear that will actually save you save you in a way that <clears throat> Probably you're not the most talented photographer, okay? But put a baby like this, a 72-200, on your RF um, uh, uh, camera or an R5. Oh boy, trust me, you'll make beautiful pictures even in autofocus. And, you know, obviously, um, gear is not important, but it is important. So, um, for peace of mind, 
that's actually my personal view and I'm super happy with the investment I did. Um, I think that this will make me a better creator, this will make me create more. And let's be honest, do you think that Peter McKinnon's, um, Matty Hapwire and all these great YouTubers, do you think they will use Panasonic's? For God's sake, of course not, because they will spend half of their time setting up the camera and finding out of focus. These people are fast. They need to get stuff fast. They need to film two or three videos. It's a business. YouTube is a business, and that's why you need to have reliable uh, gear that will help you to create more value for people. And I hope I brought you some value today. Thanks so much for watching. If you love another, I don't know, video tutorial about Canons and all my lenses, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for everyone that are watching my channel. I mean, it's a blessing. I'm really, really happy to be here. Thanks so much. I'm Nikon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.